Today's episode, we're going to look at how to drive a Ferrari for the same price that you would pay for a Honda. But before we go ahead and get started here today, let me introduce myself. My name is Christopher Brown from alphalifestyleacademy.com. And if you have any questions about anything that we're going to cover in today's episode, if you are on our website, um, you can just reach out to us through the little chat box down in the bottom right hand corner of the web page and just send in your questions or your comments and we will address those. So let's dive into this. This story highlights the dream of driving luxury cars like Lamborghinis and Ferraris, even though most people end up driving practical cars like Hondas. The key is to understand car depreciation and how the ultra rich preserve their wealth through exchanging cars strategically. By selling a car at the right time and using the proceeds to buy another, they avoid losing money. Additionally, learning from mentors can navigate the car market and secure the dream car without breaking the bank. Now, before we continue, I want to invite you to see how to live the lifestyles of the rich and famous on a middle class income with the money saving secrets of the ultra rich where you can find out more details by clicking on the banner that you see in today's blog post, or you can go ahead and visit richandfamous.alphalifestyleacademy.com. That's richandfamous.alphalifestyleacademy.com. So let's dive back into this. Well, 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 my fellow car enthusiasts, listen up because I've got some car wisdom to drop on you. Back in the day when I was a young spray 15 year old, I had a poster of a wicked black Lamborghini above my bed. You betcha, no boring Honda poster for me. Cause who wants that, right? But guess what? Here's the secret sauce that's not so common knowledge. You can live the dream without breaking the bank. Yeah, you heard me right. The ultra rich have some money saving tricks up their sleeves. They don't just blow their dough like confetti at a party. Nah, they educate themselves on business and financial stuff for about 60 minutes each day. Way better than binge watching some soapy drama on TV. And that's where we come in, with a squad of mentors. We're learning the tricks of the trade, so you can too. I got business mentors, money mentors, health and fitness gurus, the whole shebang. We're working on snagging that Ferrari without breaking the bank just like a pro. Depreciation. All right now, let's talk about depreciation. We all know that new cars tank in value faster than you can say chimichanga, but there's more to it. That sweet Lambo of yours will depreciate too. No doubt about it. But here's the catch. Once it hits the sweet spot, the value stabilizes like a skilled sharpshooter. So my fellow dreamers, the rich got some clever tricks called exchanging. It ain't about buying a Lambo for $200,000 cause you can. They get smart about buying and selling it at the right time for the same price, then bam. So you wanna buy your exotic car around year seven because as you notice in the graph, depreciation starts to level off around year seven. Then you wanna sell it before it depreciates and invest it in another exotic car. This way you don't lose money and in some cases you will actually make money. And don't dare think it's impossible to get the car of your dreams. The car market is a jungle, but once you know the ropes, you could score your dream ride. Remember, patience is the key, just like waiting for your perfect tackle. 90 day rule. Oh, and there is the legendary 90 day rule. Car dealerships hate it when the car sits on their lot like a couch potato. So once that baby hits 90 days, they're charged interest faster than I can whip out my sword. You savvy? Finding high-end cars near the mark is the ticket to finding that sweet deal. Zero down financing. Now I bet you're wondering, how the heck am I gonna be able to afford an exotic ride? Fear not, amigos. Financing's the name of the game. 90% of those beasts are financed, and it ain't cause they can't afford it. It's cause the money savvy folks know their money can make more money like me and my chimichanga stand. So buckle up and join me on this wild ride. We'll be tearing up the roads in our dream cars, all without emptying our wallets. You'll be cruising like a boss. So grab the wheel of your dreams, hit the gas, and let's ride off into the sunset together. 
Chimichangas for everyone. Conclusion. The key to buying exotic cars without breaking the bank lies in timing and smart strategies. Acquiring well-maintained exotic cars, typically around year seven is the sweet spot. Utilizing exchanging techniques allows you to avoid losing money and in some instances even make a profit. Keep your eyes peeled for exotic automobiles near the 90 day mark on the lot. Dealers become more motivated to sell, presenting better opportunities. Furthermore, buying an exotic car opens up doors to additional financing options, often with zero money down. This makes owning your dream car more feasible than you might think. But remember, there's much more to learn in the world of the money-saving secrets of the ultra-rich. If you're hungry for the lifestyles of the rich and famous on a middle-class income, whether it's driving Ferraris, living in a Hollywood mansion, or exploring the world practically for free, you're invited to claim a copy of the money-saving secrets of the ultra-rich at ultrarich.alphalifestyleacademy.com empowering yourself with the knowledge to transform your aspirations into reality. Live the life on the fast lane because you deserve it. So for more details, if you're watching this video on our website, you can also scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the banner that you see there. Again, that's ultrarich.alphalifestyleacademy.com. Now, if you're on our website, again, if you have any questions about anything that we've talked about in today's episode, just reach out to our support staff with the chat box down here at the bottom right-hand corner. But I had a blast recording today's module here for you today. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we will see you in our next module. Bye-bye now.